Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video. This is S. Sudarshan, your career coach. Before we get on to this week's topic, uh, the customary thing, in case you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so much. And in case you haven't, do click on the subscription button and also the bell button for instant notifications of parenting and career related videos on a regular basis. Now, recently there was a sensational news about Indian higher education, especially the Indian abroad study abroad higher education that rocked the entire student and parents community at large 700 indian students who were and who are studying in canada face uh, deportation charges you know the these deportation charges are uh, being issued by canadian government for the reasons that the admission letters that they have got the college admission letters that they have got from the respective different different universities across canada were found to be fake and this was highly shocking in nature in fact some of the students who went uh, to these universities in canada have completed their education and have already started working you know when they started to apply for their pr the permanent residency in canada the canadian border security agency rejected their pr status and said the certificates that you have got are completely fake in nature now, this sent shock waves not only to the uh, existing students or the people who are there in Canada, but also to the Indian students who are planning to go abroad. See, studying abroad is definitely a dream come true for many, not only for students, but also for parents. And I have been always advocating that education should not be restricted to one particular region or country definitely it is a uh, it, it is it can be considered if it is definitely uh, better in nature but at the same time such things when when such things happen this leads to a lot of trauma you know this leads to uh, not only for the students but also for the parents imagine the hard earned money the investment that you are making if it goes for a toss like this the uh, trauma that you experience is is is, is unimaginable and that because you know it has a direct impact towards the lives of children the career of children now some of the visa agents i'm quoting some only some some of the visa agents use dishonest tactics you know uh, from the students and also from the parents and send you know to the universities and abroad thereby landing in such trouble and that's that that's where we thought we should address this issue and uh, the, the topic that we have taken is will definitely you know try to address this issue the topic that we have taken is study abroad red flag for parents you know and also for students how to spot a potential scam you know before even you start going to any country before even when you start engaging with anyone you know from a university or the consultant how to spot the potential scam now before that you got to understand whether you should approach a consultant or not that is a different de definite different topic you know altogether but then you know yes people in india are used to go through consultants and i'm not finding any wrong or fault in going via consultants because consultants provide varied options for example if you want to apply for a particular course in a particular country you know you, you might have too much of public universities and private universities in a country for example uk hundreds and hundreds of colleges are there it is the consultants who can actually guide you, mentor you properly and choose the right college and right, you know, course. Therefore, going through a consultant is all right. But then, you know, you got to go to a right consultant. We will see how it is. How can you spot out the potential scam is what something which we will see. The first, uh, you know, potential scam when you, when you interact with an agent or a consultant is when the agent or consultant doesn't focus on your academic queries. Now, beware if the consultant or agent is not focusing on you know the queries that you ask pertaining to academics like for example the, the the admission enrollment or the evaluation process the choice of universities that you have in that respective country the qualification criteria be it the entrance test like sat or gre or gmat or ielts toefl whatever it is if a consultant or agent is not focusing on these things then you got to seriously think so genuine consultants offer wealth of information in this aspect they offer plethora of information on which university is there in that country how many alumni uh, you know from india are there in that country what are the career options that you know are available in their country what are the post work related you know things that are there in that country and so on and so forth a lot of academic related things the right consultants will offer if someone doesn't offer then you have to have that red flag the second you know red flag thing that you can think of uh, the, is definitely in the form of unrealistic claims a lot of these consultants give 
you know unimaginable unrealistic claims if an agent makes any unrealistic claim uh, like for example 50 scholarships the consultant may say 100 percent free scholarship now imagine how many universities can give you 100 percent free scholarship they have to run the university right so that's not going to happen not everybody gets right uh, easy admissions to top tier institutions some consultants might lure you with words like this now you've got to believe that top tier institutions doesn't give you free admissions or doesn't give you easy admissions right it is a well and hard earned admission that you have to earn and to get into ivy league or whatever institutes and therefore if someone says we will get you admissions we will get you you know hefty scholarship in this college then you have to think twice i'm not saying it he, he or she can be right or wrong but you have to have that red flag that's the second point the third warning sign that i can think of is if a consultant or agent says guaranteed admissions and guaranteed visa now this is a very common thing that you know the consultants use please take note this in mind that no agent or consultant can guarantee you an admission in any good institute any good university no agent similarly no agent can guarantee you citizenship immigration uh, you know process or for that matter uh, you know pr or any kind of visa any kind, no no agent in india can offer you if someone says we give you guaranteed visa guaranteed admission and that is where you have to use that red flag three so how do you stay away from them that's the most important thing so you got to stay there is a scam i'm not saying that a scam is not there there is a scam in this but how do you stay away from the scam is what we will see now the best piece of advice that i will give you is yes i know a lot of consultants will watch this video and will question me the best piece of advice is avoid consultants you can people do get into universities without consultants with prior knowledge gone are those days where the information weren't available aplenty but these days courtesy social media digital media websites blogs etc you have plenty of information about any university in the world be in the world even in india you have a lot of informations you know how to get it as students you know how to get it so you can take an independent decision every university has an application process within their website so go through their genuine website there are fake websites also Try to get the right website and go through the website and understand their application process too. Now, leading universities, especially from the West and also from the down under in Australia, etc., every country has an outreach professional in India, a dedicated country manager for India. I know hundreds and hundreds of outreach professionals in India who work for universities based out of Delhi or Hyderabad. So it is you as a student who has to reach out to them and they are the direct representatives of university. They are country representatives, which means they will be in the position to guide you better than any consultants. Now, despite this, if you want to get into consultants, there is no harm. There is no wrong or right when get it when you look for consultants but when you look for consultants or agents you must make sure that you do a thorough check of the background of the consultants as to what are their credentials how long they have been in this business what kind of success rate that they have they have got and also inquire more about you know their 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 existence so if you go through these things then you are free to choose the consultants i'm not saying consultants are wrong because consultants trust me give you a lot of information but for that you got to go to the right consultants see uh, exercising caution more vigilness awareness a thorough research and seeking right guidance and right advice from the right people is very very important and in case you have more doubts on which university to choose abroad which course to choose abroad which country suits which uh, you know course in say for a specific country you can always ping us we have a lot of information about international education all the credentials are mentioned beneath this video and i hope this information was very very handy and very important and do pass on this information to as many students as possible and until next video with an altogether different topic see you all take care have a safe week thank you